Hello everybody, I'm Takashi and today I'm gonna react to Ruby Volume 4 Chapter 2 Resembrance. Re Remembrance, sorry. <laughs> I can't read. I can read, but not this. Remembrance. So okay, let's see what's what happened last time. Last time uh, we saw the new characters, the new women. And Tyrion is going to find Ruby and Coach her eyes out. At least he will try. <laughs> and uh, Ruby and the gang, Junior or Ranger, whatever you want to call her, call them, uh, they are moving to Shirm Village. And because and because because they have an airship, at least so they heard. But uh, I'm sure there is gonna be a lot of green there, and maybe the village is not even there. And it seemed that they forgot the map. <laughs> I don't know. But we didn't see Jean fighting because uh, all his weapon and armory were uh, being upgraded. And maybe they had some new upgrades. Maybe they are uh, gone too. <laughs> we, we don't know yet. But we will see. It's made out of his weaponry and Pyrrha's weaponry. But we ended off uh, with Vice being called by his father. Her, his, her father. So probably we will start off with Ruby. Uh, with Ruby. <laughs> with Vice. Speaking with uh, her father. And I was thinking maybe that boy on the farm was not a boy but a girl. A maiden maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure, because I, I, I checked it out, I, did, I didn't see that much bold, but there was something there, so might be a girl, might be a boy, I'm not sure, maidens are girls, so maybe I was right on the first try and it's just uh, Hazel's uh, son, I don't know, but he or she is alone. So, without further ado, let's just simply start in 3, 2, 1, now. Oh! Rooster Tooth presents? Rooster Tooth animation? Oh, it's the intro! I thought it was something new. There is Crow, there is Vice, I hope what is kind of scruffy. Oh, okay, that sometimes is Blake is uh, not <laughs> with Adam. <laughs> and Yang still has powers, losing her hand. But Tyrion is, uh, not Tyrion, Tyang is uh, trying to help her. And those are the villains. Yes, Adam is still in loose. And he's still helping the enemy. Okay, they didn't show anything new from each John. Except he fights well this time, it seems. He's still kinda the comedic relief of this, but I hope she is much better. And that's a nice mansion you got there. And that is one of the Iron Giants. The snake. Is the Iron Giant a uh, game too? Obviously we have to have a piano if it's a rich girl. <laughs> Oh. A pleasure to see you out of your room for a change. She has a brother. Hello, Whitley. Whitley. I'm in a cheery mood today. Klein made crepes for breakfast. <laughs> what do you want? Okay. I heard father shouting with someone in his study earlier. Uh, Mother? was it? No, she's was already peeking in the garden. I think it was a man. A man. I just wanted to. I am wood. I heard he had asked to speak with you. 
I'll be fine. I know you will. Oh. You're strong, like Winter. Okay. You never liked Winter. <clears throat> true. <laughs> but you can't deny her resolve. That's true, okay. You seem different. And you've been gone. I'll have you know I didn't stop growing while you were away at Beacon. Okay. Anyway, good luck with father. Her father is not happy. And... Thank you. Uh, it seems they have three childs. Three children. And her mother has drinking problems. That's a big problem. Do you believe in destiny? Oh, that's John. He's having a nightmare. Oh no, Robbie! He's having a nightmare. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So the oh, they found the map! <laughs> they went back for a map. Can you read it? We're, lost. We're not lost. The next town is Shion. My family used to visit all the time. Oh yeah, don't you have like four sisters? No, seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know that actually explains a lot. <laughs> Wait. So, what did you guys do there? Oh, oh you I'm mean so the sorry. bunny <laughs> thing? Over here is a great hiking trail, and over here is where we went camping all the time. I got my own tent because I was special. Oh. Also, so my sisters would stop braiding my hair. Didn't like the look. Yeah, they just kept doing pigtails, but personally, I think I'm more of a warrior's wolf tail kind of guy. Uh. It's just a ponytail. I stand by what I said. <laughs> and it's kind of getting good. darker. Maybe grim. No, it's smoke. So must not be grim. And that is. Not new. There could be survivors. Oh. Over here. Maybe the her? Oh. He's still breathing. Oh she? He. Okay. I just saw the leg. What happened? Who killed all of these people? Grim. <coughs> Bandits. Bandits, not Grim. The whole tribe. <coughs> and he's gonna die. You should treat him before speaking to him. All right, we can get him to the next village and try to find a doctor there. Yeah, Red and I can take turns carrying him. I don't know if he'll make it. He will. He has to. If we get going, don't have bandages. Be better. I can run ahead and look for help. Guys, he said. Yep. He won't make it. Should we bury him? We should go. It's not safe here. Ren? Yeah, Ren is right. If there was bandits, they could come back to pillage everything. <coughs> I'm just tired of losing everything. And I think Ren lost. Is family like this too? Is it the same bandit tribe? I'm not talking it seems so. I'm talking about the good of Atlas, our entire kingdom. That is a load of yep, it's I humbled. It. I beg your pardon. Shock, will you please Jacques. just hear me out? Jacques Slice. You are a trusted friend and ally to this family, James. But what you're suggesting is absurd. What you is are blowing it out of proportion? The council will never agree to it. You forget. I hold two seats on the council. Oh. Your dust embargo has already cost me millions. I can promise you I have not forgotten. So this is about you. Click. Mishni, my apologies. I should have been gone by now. It, it's okay. We'll continue this at another time. Indeed. Klein can show you out. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the way. 
Pesen hat Drastik Geiram, wurde auf der Rot Heso. Jon Snow. You always have a home at Atlas Academy, Mishni. We'll be back in session before you know it. Did you forget your manners while you were away? Hmm. No, Father. I'm sorry. She shouldn't have listened to this. Can you believe there are still people in the world that blame Atlas for what happened to Beacon? Oh. To Veil? Yep, I could well, understand that. Well, they weren't there. To wonder Ironwood wasn't stripped of his rank. I suppose the Council trusts him. For better or worse. Hmm. I trust him. What about you? Thanks to him, Atlas is forbidden from exporting dust to other kingdoms. Oh. A precautionary measure, as he puts it. Until we're certain no one is going to declare war. So you are not no getting money. possibly find that to be sound logic money. is beyond me. Which is why the Schnee Dust Company will be holding a charity concert in the coming weeks. And you are the last thing. Remnant, that we are on their side. That we are all victims of the fall of Beacon. That's wonderful news. That's nice. I know. And I think it would make a lot of people happy if you performed at the Yep, event. I knew it was coming. Excuse me? Many forget that you were there. My own daughter, a Schnee, on the grounds defending another kingdom. We need to remind them. And we need to show them that the Schnee family is just as strong as ever. Makes sense. Are you asking me if I'd like to sing or telling me? Uh, telling you. I think it would make a lot of people happy. Yep, telling. I'll start practicing. <laughs> That's my girl. It's okay, Vice. That's not a hard thing to do. Oh. I always find he keeps his study dreadfully cold. <laughs> Okay, that's a nice, nice waiter. Thank you, Klein. Klein. You know what I think? I think it's to balance out all his hot air. <laughs> Klein? <laughs> what? Apologies, <laughs> madam. Does he have any connection to... What? Thank you, Klein. He can change eye colors. Another. Another nightmare. Ruby is having. Coming back. Oh, what? That was not in the nightmare. You are awake. What? Jean? Pira? That was Pira's voice, right? Nice. Nice animation. But... Yeah, Jean is practicing. All right, Jean. Just like we practice. Follow these instructions. Oh, she made Do a video not... for that. Keep your grip tight. Don't forget to keep your front foot forward. Ready? Not that forward. <laughs> Go. Again. Wow! And again. Okay. Now, assuming you aren't cheating, we can take a break. Is he crying? I know this can be frustrating. Semblance? And it can feel like so much effort to progress such a small amount. But... I want you to know that I'm proud of you 
I've never met someone so determined to better themselves. You've grown so much since we started training. And I know this is just the beginning. Jean. I... I... I love you. I want you to know that I'm just happy to be a part of your life. <sighs> I'll always be here for you, Jean. All right, Jean. Just like we practice. Then try again. Instructions. Shield up. Keep your grip tight. Don't forget to keep your front foot forward. Ready? Go. Again. Yeah, Ruby, you are not the only one. Yeah. And Jean is moving forward. And these tracks has power, we can see them. <sighs> okay, let's see, anything in the end? I don't think so, because there are 3 minutes, 3 seconds left. Let's stop this here, don't stop the next one. So, what I thought was a spoiler, was a spoiler because it was an intro. And we saw Blake on the ocean with Wukong, Sam Wukong, and someone else. I don't know who that is, maybe Sun's father or Blake's father, but that makes sense now that it's obviously canon that she ran away with Sun. Or no, she ran away and Sun obviously found her. So Adam is still out there threatening, threatening all of their teammates. And what about that waiter character? I, I have no clue. From when he changed his eye to red, I thought he had some kind of connection to Yang. But it seems he can change his eye to everyone, uh, to every kind of eyes, like blue or hazel. So, okay. Iron Woods had something in mind that would make the defenses better, but uh, it seems Jack, or whatever he was called, the father was not really fond of that idea because he lost a lot of dust and that kind of makes sense but still if it would make the defenses better it would obviously make it better if it was to try but uh, he is cut off from every money he can make because he can't import. He can still sell, sell dust in the country but he can't import uh, or export dust. Sorry, export. And that makes sense because uh, they don't know where the enemy is hiding and where they would buy and they don't want at least to get on the side of the enemy. Because in many times in war People who are selling or businessmen sold for two pieces at a time. Sold for the winning side so for, uh, and sold for the not winning side or maybe even just went for the winning side and kept everything, G gained a lot of things from them, even if the winning side was the bad side because good and bad, black and white are just two sides of one paper. But uh, here, they they are obviously bad for the people. I still don't know what they really want. They want the grim 
to get out and Emerald is not happy with it. But uh, about that concept, I'm, I'm sure, I, I was sure that uh, Vice was taking part in it. And it makes sense because she is a beautiful singer as we saw from the trailer and they even told, told us that she can sing. And she is obviously better matter since she was burned to death, kind of, <laughs> and she was not going to sing for a while. But there, there is a long time, a long time has uh, passed since that. So I think that's all we got from this, and Joan is still. I I like to see that Joan is still. Pushing forward even after uh, losing Pyrrha. And from the look of his shield, he has a little bit of shooting uh, window in that. Just as Pyrrha had. So I'm pretty sure he will have some kind of surprise attack with that. And we saw his uh, slashes have. A lot of uh, wind generated from that, and that means those slashes are powerful. So, yeah, I'm cu I'm curious how much he improved because we still didn't see him fight. <laughs> they are pulling it back for a reason, and it was kind it was kind of an emotional thing. So yes. Maybe from this Ruby will see that she will have to push forward too and not uh, let the past pull, pull herself back. So, okay, next time we, we are gonna see chapter 3 of Renovate and Stowaways, most likely Blake, same from the thumbnail, it's Blake there, <laughs> that's obvious from the title and the <laughs> thumbnail too. So. We are gonna see Blake next time, and I don't know when, but see you next time. Bye.